Hi guys, welcome back to Coding World. Today in this video, we are going to see one more Spring Cloud component, which is Fan Client. So Fan Client is a Netflix declarative web service, which is used to consume the REST APIs. So for REST API to consume those, we, we frequently use a REST template, but REST template is having a lot of boiler code, which when we have multiple calls, then it will be get repeated. So to avoid that, Spring Boot has been introduced to one component, which is a fan client. So in fan client, we will consume our REST APIs in our fan client. So for that, we will be having two microservices. One will be a producer, one will be a consumer. So in my case, I have created a simple microservice with adding Spring Boot starter web dependency and the dev tools I have added for the first development and other I'm keeping as it is. So I will upload this simple microservice in my Git repository and I'll add that in my videos description. So this is a simple book service which has a one controller and that controller is returning our data where we are returning the service port and the book by the ID and get all books. This is a simple microservice which returns a book by ID and all books. So we are consuming this book service in our student service. Student service is our consumer. So all fan client related configuration we will do in our consumer. So this is a simple microservice. Let me run it and show you all how and what it is, what it returns. So service has been successfully started on 8080. Let me hit this API book slash all. This is a gate API which will return a list of three books. So if you hit this API 8080 slash book slash all, I am getting list of the books. These are the three books which we have hard coded in our service. Now our second part is to create a fin client in our microservice and consume this REST API in our consumer microservice. So for that, you have to go spring initializer or if it you are using STS in STS itself it is providing the UI from that UI you can add the dependency so this is a fin client microservice so which will consume the our book microservice so let's create a microservice by adding the these three dependencies one is a spring web second is the dev tools and Third one is open pin. So once you download this zip file, import into your favorite editor and we will see next. I have imported a spring fin project into my IntelliJ editor and I have copied this book class from our simple microservice. So here we have book ID, book name and book cost. And if you see, we have two, my, two dependencies like uh, open fin and Spring Boot Starter and due to is a for the development purpose. And we have seen that we have a cloud version also, which is a pretty clear here. Cloud version is a 2021.00. So now first thing we have to do is like with our Spring Boot application, we have to annotate with enable fission client. Now we are done with our Spring fin, fin application and we have to now work on the consuming our microservice. So for that we have to create a consumer which is a interface. So I name it as a book consumer. So this is a class which we use throughout our application to call the, our microservice APIs. So let's annotate this with a fin client and in fin client we have to give a name which will be a book service in my case and url so my application is running on local host 8080 now copy all the methods from our book controller and paste it here and create the abstract method from that. 
this is my class where all methods I have declared. So let's copy this and so let's copy this and paste into our interface. So let's delete this implementation. Okay, we are done with our book consumer. So using this interface, we can able to call the our book service APIs. Now let's create one more controller and use this consumer in that controller. So let's create a first uh, student controller and from student controller, we will consume the book consumer, book microservice APIs. Okay, so let's create a class. to run controller let's annotate this with a rest controller and request mapping student so we will call the book APIs for that we need to auto wire book consumer okay let's create first api to get list of book This is a gate mapping and all book. Okay, we are done with our first API, which is a student slash all book. Now let's rerun this application and check we are able to consume the book. So application has been started on 8081, which is our server port and let's call this api all book localhost a081 student slash all books yes we are able to successfully get the all book api and this means we are able to consume the book apis from our student microservice using a fin client so here we have not used any rest template or nothing it's simply just one annotation and the one interface that is enough for our api consumer so it makes our work simplified and it removes a lot of boiler code so we have to use this app if we have to use this component to reduce the more boiler plate and make our to make our rest api consume mechanism more easier so this is it guy you can use this fin client for your microservice consume if you like this video please subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends and happy coding thank you